All right, guys, here we go. You know, I had one of the guys uh, comment, you know, what does the R8 look like with a 16 millimeter 2.8 on it if you're doing a night vlog? Right, so I have the enhanced stab on and doing the night vlog. Now it's getting dark, sun's pretty much gone down. I'll throw on the GoPro video too so you can see what that looks like versus a full frame camera. That's where you're gonna see the big difference. The like GoPro is great in the day, but man, at night, well, we'll check it out and we'll see what it looks like. So this is the R8 with a 16 millimeter 2.8 lens with enhanced stab on. I'm just hand holding this thing I don't have it on a tripod kind of thing, one of those little extenders, uh, nothing. I'm just walking with it on this trail here. As you can see, this trail is it's a paved trail. So, I mean, it's it's got some bumps and grinds, but it's not too bad. What does this look like? Is it shaky? I mean, is it bad? Is it unusable? I mean, I'm not the uh, most stable guy in the shed, so. But if it looks good and it works good, at nighttime, it's pretty dark out here. I gotta be honest with you. I'll throw on a GoPro video. I'll throw that up. I'll do that right now. You can look at that and you can let me know what that looks like. Obviously, when you get low light, that's when the GoPro starts falling apart in the stabilization. So I thought, well, what about the enhanced stabilization? What is that gonna look like on a vlog type movement video? with this uh, uh, digital stabilization, because that's all the R8 has, right? It does not have the R8 does not have the built-in IBIS, which is good because you don't get the wobbles on the edges, but is that gonna affect the night performance, right? So is that gonna make it so it's jittery, it's shoddy, it's no good, I don't know. We're gonna test that. This is pretty low light, so we're gonna give that a shot. The sun's down, as you can see. Beautiful night. Apologize, it is a little windy out here. Appreciate you leaving a comment about doing a night vlog. That's a very good idea. If you guys have any ideas about videos you wanna see or to test it out, you know, compare it, you know, different situations, let me know, because I, I love this. This is fun for me, just, just a hobby. It's good times. All right. Let's check out the GoPro and see what that looks like. And you can kind of get an idea of what the difference is. Now, if you're watching on a phone, you might not notice the difference, but if you're watching on a bigger television or a screen, it may become apparent, but just want to see if there's jitters and micro jitters on this, you know? Let's check it out, guys. All right, this is the GoPro 10. We're testing it out, me and my lovely wife here. As you can see, the sun has gone down. We just checked out the R8. Now look. What does this look like now? I mean, this is darker, so the ISO's probably high, and it might mess with the stabilization. This is a great vlogging option in the daytime. When the sun goes down, what is it gonna look like? Is it gonna be shady? Is it gonna be shaky? You be the judge, check it out. Let's move, to, move the camera around a little bit. Things are starting to get a little more green over here in Michigan. How's that look? The GoPro 10, we got uh, 5.3K, 30 frames per second, coming at you right there. If this looks good at night, man, there you go. But compared to the R8, it's up to you, what do you want? I mean, this is this thing you can throw in your pocket. Look at the R8, there it is. It's in my pocket. It's cute. It's in my pocket. I got the R8 full frame camera with a 60 millimeter lens in my pocket, my hoodie pocket. GoPro fits in your pocket. That's what you want, man. You don't want no big old thing. Got a, you got a big old gimbal and you're carrying all this stuff around. Man, it, that makes me not want to use it. I got to have something that I can put in my pocket. For me, it's convenience. I don't like color grading. I don't like going and doing all that stuff. That's just not my thing. So how's the GoPro looking right now, guys? The sun is down. Let's compare that one more time to the Canon R8. I'm going to finish this video up. <clears throat> All right, guys, I got the Canon R8 on one end on auto mode. I got the GoPro on the other way. Got the Canon R8 on one end and the GoPro 10 on the other end. Side by side, I mean, on the screen of the R8, it looks great. Low light, 
it should look okay. I just don't know what the stabilization is going to do. So I can't wait to get this in post and check it out. GoPro 10, there it is in all its glory. You can see the Canon R8 right there. This is it, man. This is the test. Let me know what you think. Now, this is just the uh, regular mic on the camera. Not processed audio at all. I don't have uh, the Comico Vimo mic or anything. I, I do have a wireless mic, but I just wanted to do straight out of camera, auto mode, easy peasy. Come out here, turn it on, and walk. Put it back in your pocket and be done with it. If it's that easy, then it might be a little easier to do your vlog. Same thing with the GoPro 10. Pull it out, hit record, stop it. But is it going to be good enough in low light? Right? Is it going to be good enough in low light? I don't know. You be the judge. This is 4K 30. Just put it on manual mode. F2.8. Now, of course, you could have a 1.8 lens like the 35 or the 50 millimeter. And that would be just fine as well. But just testing this out. See what this looks like. Just doing some panning with enhanced stabilization on. All right, guys, I got it in really low light here. Got the ISO on 6400, and it's pretty dark. The sun's totally down now. Just wanted to see what this looks like with the enhanced ID on, or the, with the enhanced stabilization on, to see if it still stabilizes it or if it gets all jittery and nasty. Uh, I'm going to bump up the ISO a little bit. I'm not sure that this is going to look like in person. I'm not sure what this is going to look like after post, but we'll check it out. So I'm walking with it. Got the enhanced stabilization on right now. Is that going to ruin it or is it not going to ruin it? You let me know. All right, guys. I bumped it up to 12,800 ISO. 2.8 aperture. 4K 30 frames per second. So you saw it on auto. Probably had... It was way boosted. It was a little bit lighter out then, though, too. This is the enhanced stabilization on still. 12,800 ISO. So this is about as dark as you're ever going to want to shoot, probably. I mean, you could put yourself under a street lamp or a street light or something. And you saw it on auto. You could just put it on auto and use it, and that's fine, too. But I just wanted to see what it looked like if I actually set some settings to give it a shot. It might be really dark. All right, now I have it on an insane 25,600 ISO. It's probably going to look terrible probably unusable but i just wanted to give this a quick little do and see if it would track and see how it's going to work let's put it to its limits right you know you spend 1500 bucks on a camera let's see if it can go with the flow man see if it can take care of business so there you go this is about as much iso as you're ever going to want to use more than you don't ever want to use this but hey man is it usable still i don't know i guess we'll find out just have the hand stay on still just seeing what it does, seeing if it messes with it or not. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see anything else, and like and subscribe and all that nonsense. All right, guys, check you later.